Hello everyone, welcome to another Exchange 2019 video. In the previous video, we took a look at installing the prerequisites for Exchange 2019. This included .NET 4.8 in silent mode, installing the features like Windows Media Foundation, and then installing Visual C++ 2012 and 2013, and also UCMA Runtime 4. In this example, for this video, we're going to be doing an installation of Exchange 2019 on Server Core. So the first thing we have to do is to mount our ISO. So I'm going to copy the command. Now, as you can see, I'm already in a PowerShell window. So to show you, you cannot run this from a command prompt. It will fail. You have to type in PowerShell. Now you can mount it. And now if I go to my E drive, you can see that there's my exchange set of files. So I'm going to clear that. Now I'm going to copy the line to do the installation. And one thing I'm missing is organization name. And I press enter. Now this is a normal unattended setup like you would get in Exchange 2016, Exchange 2019 running a GUI. It looks identical. You can see you might be familiar with Exchange 2016, CU 15, 16, 17, depending on whatever CU you, you are installing. The setup copies the files. But while we wait for that, in the previous video I spoke about installing Windows components. Here's the switch, right? If you wanted to install that long thing of requirements, you can, but this makes your life a lot easier. So to break it down, we're running the setup. The mode is installation, not upgrading or recovering. So mode install. We're installing Windows components. We accept in the license terms and the role is the mailbox ROM. Remember, Exchange 2019 only has two roles, Edge and Mailbox. Now, as you can see, it looks pretty straightforward. We're going to be doing languages, management tools, and then the role, and then every service part of the Mailbox role. So currently, it's configuring the prerequisites. So it will go and do a, like a prepare AD because I haven't done that. This is a brand new uh, installation on Azure. I've got a DC on Server 2019 and I've got a GUI installation on 2019. Now this is my core installation on Windows Server 2019. I'm not going to run the setup in the video completely because it takes a lot of time. Um, I've seen some of these setups that can take 20 minutes. Other times they can take two, three hours. It just depends on how powerful the machine is or how quick the storage is, etc. But we'll get through like the first two parts and when we start installing, I'm going to quit the video and then you have the gist of it of how to install Exchange 2019. So this hasn't moved yet. There we go. If it is going to fail, it's going to fail for .NET 4.8. I did run the installation in quiet mode, and it seemed like it was successful. So let's see what this brings back. And like any other installation, if there's anything missing or there's a pending reboot, etc., you will see the same errors as you would on a normal installation. So this is my machine in Azure. It's on a premium SSD disk, which is a standard. Um, I'm not going to go faster than that. And obviously, I'm not going to put too many resources in, because the more resources you put in, the more you actually pay. So this is a 4 CPU, 16 gig server, which is sufficient for testing purposes. Now, just remember, 
that you cannot introduce Exchange 2069 as organization because you basically um, How can I say? You've just gone and installed 2019, so it will tell you. So here it says, no Exchange Server 2016 roles have been detected in the topology. After this operation, you will not be able to install any Exchange Server 2016 roles. So it's now running Prepare AD. So there's your organization configuration. And that should be pretty quick. So for anybody new, if you haven't run setup forward slash prepare AD, it will go and do it for you. You obviously want to run the prepare schema, which you can do. So you can see the setup is not um, too slow. 30 Sorry, 16 gigs for Exchange 319. Okay. So this is taking a little bit longer. So normally what you would do is you would go and install the RSET tools. So Install Windows feature or set dash tools, and then you go and set up and run prepare AD. Or if you want to do it on domain controller, just remember that to run prepare AD, you need to first have .NET 4.8 installed and Visual C 2012, and then you can run prepare AD. Now, depending on how large your organization is this change can take a little while to replicate. So if you are introducing Exchange 2019 in your environment, that's running Exchange 2016, I would advise running this and then let it replicate. Don't rush the installation. So this is taking a little bit longer than anticipated. So if we come back to this, while this is busy, I can make all of these commands available to you in the video. I'll just paste it into YouTube on the description and you can copy and paste it. Alternatively, um, on the previous video, you can pause the video and then just type in the commands uh, or type them out on your machine. Okay, so we're nearly done. It's going, it's going. I've noticed that sometimes it sits on ninety nine percent and then it runs. So there you have it. Exchanges setup has started. You can see how quickly it went through the first two sections. Copying exchange files is where it takes the longest time. Um, I've seen this on machines that have got 80 gigs of RAM and 16 CPUs with SSD drives attached to them, and this still sits here because you go sitting with a 6 gig ISO. And then after 20 or 30 minutes, then the setup is pretty quick after that. So I'm going to end this, the video now, but you get the gist of it. Thank you very much for watching.